Hello YouTube, this is Bob Harrison one Today I'll be showing you how to use GarageBand to enhance the amount of sound you have on your bass amplifier or electric guitar amplifier. Now the regular amplifier comes with the basic five presets, which is usually clean, distortion, or any other thing you might have depending on your ampl amp amplifier. And so today I will be showing a, a tutorial and how you how to use GarageBand to give you more sounds that you want on your bass or electric guitar amplifier. So yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, so basically this is my setup that I have for this, my physical setup. I have my bass plugged into a zero dB input and I'm using an Ampeg BA one fifteen bass amplifier. And you just want to have the volume and master about more than halfway a little bit. And the equalizers as you like it. Your style as you like it. You can always change it when we get to that part of the process. Basically that's plugged into my amp. And I'm using a Fender Precision Bass. Regular Fender Precision Bass. And here in my... Here what I'm doing is basically taking an adapter plug it into the headphone jack then an auxiliary cable I'm plugging it into the adapter the other end goes into the input of your Mac computer that utilizes GarageBand and this over here is just an output for when the sound from the amplifier comes out because your computer speakers acts as the amplifier but really what you want is a loud sound so this is basically just connected to my Rolling, rolling amplifier. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can just pop in some headphones in there and just use it, which is great. But for performances, it's um, recommended that you use a big speaker or something loud that everybody can hear. And that's basically my physical setup for that. And now we'll move on to the computer setup. From here. All right, now up to the computer part of the setup. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go to System Preferences to switch the lining that we had in here to um, the, from the internal microphone into the lining. So we're going to click Line In. But unfortunately, if I click Line In on here, then my voice will be cut off from this video. So I'm just going to save that till later. You can just minimize that for now. And what we're going to do is open up GarageBand and wait for it to load. Now there are two ways we can do this. Um, one is for the electric guitar and the other is for the um, bass guitar. First I'm going to do electric guitar and then I'm going to do bass guitar. But what I found out is that if you use electric guitar for bass you get some pretty cool sounds so you might, if you're a bass player using a bass amplifier you might as well just go along with electric guitar and just see the cool sounds it has. Um, you can just name it whatever. I'm going to name it test. Wait for GarageBand to load. So this method is for those who are using electric guitar. Those who are using the electric bass can skip forward in the video to that part. Or you can just watch along to see what, I, what you can do with a bass. Well, I'm using a bass, so I'm going to show you the sounds that you can get on here. But... Whoever's watching is going to be using a guitar for the bass that will come later. Okay, so as you can see, my voice is coming in in these LEDs, and that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is go to GarageBand and go to Preferences and go to Audio MIDI. And where it says Audio Input, we're going to switch that to the built-in input. It's going to ask you if you want to change the driver. It's just going to say yes. It's going to change the driver. and then just X that out and as you can see my voice does not come up on the LEDs anymore and that's exactly what we want okay and so if you just take your bass or your electric guitar and play it oh hold on I'm gonna have to switch this to um line in but I'm gonna switch it back so I can show you but basically just play your electric guitar and you're gonna see here on these LEDs that is gonna show so go back to system preferences like I said before and switch it to line in and you can play your bass 
I don't know if you saw that or not, but my bass came up on when I played it in line in. Okay, so switch it to the line in, and I'm gonna go to Garage Man and play it with the line in. Now, if you're like me, you just saw what happened. If you find that nothing happens, what you have to do is just go to the garage band and just add uh, another electric guitar. And just delete the first one. And then it should work now. So I'm going to switch back to line it. Okay, so you saw that on there, the LEDs lit up while I played. And you might be wondering where is my sound? Well, my amplifier is not on, so once I turn that on, you'll hear my sound. Okay, so from here on, I'm just gonna switch it to line in, so we can get on with the whole process. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go turn on my amplifier, my Roland amplifier, to get that sound. So you can see it's on. I don't know if you can hear that feedback or not, but basically that feedback is the guitar. I'm just gonna lower the volume on that. That feedback, you see how realistic it is, is actually the amplifier. That feedback you're hearing is the amplifier, so you can just already see how GarageBand makes this an amplifier. Okay? So. I'll pick up my bass. And as you can see, oh, I can hear my bass is gonna come through that amplifier if I play. And you can already hear that kind of guitar sound on there. And now, on clean combo on um, garage band. Alright. Oh, I just forget all this. Hold on. Basically when you start, it's just gonna start you off with clean combo. And clean combo is a clean sound. I'm not sure if you can hear that, I'm just missed the volume. You can hear the feedback on there. Just play with my bass again. Basically, that's what you get. And the thing that's really realistic about this is the stomp box, stomp box effects. Basically, you can edit the stomp boxes and you can add more of them onto this lineup of stomp boxes. And basically, you have a whole list of amplifiers and presets that you can go through. And you can always change the presets of each amplifier. So basically, I'm just going to go to, let's see, uh, Punk Rock. And you can hear that loud feedback already. I don't know what about me. I'm gonna play my bass and you're gonna hear that guitar sound. Keep in mind this is for those who are using electric guitars, so you want the sound. Those who are using bass, it sounds cool, but you might not necessarily want the sound. So here we go. that I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit. Yeah. Basically you got that sound and that's basically what you can do and you can add more, of course, just click the amplifier twice, double click that it has, it has the amplifier right there, if you can see it. 